watching Global on BBC World News. Now, believe it or not, it's ten years since the first tweet was sent on Twitter. The 140-character limit message has become a feature of millions of people's lives, hasn't it? With 500 million tweets now sent every single day. But some have stood out more than others, of course. Some retweeted millions of times and others that have produced iconic images of our time. The very first... Well, that came from the Twitter co-founder, Jack Dorsey. Uh, just setting up my Twitter, is what he wrote. Those missing vowels would come a few months later. Now, what about the humble hashtag, something we now use to group tweets with similar subjects together? Well, the very first pound sign was used by Chris Messina, a technology expert who, over a year later, in August 2007, sent that one. The platform really took off as a medium for breaking news in 2009, when a ferry passenger on the Hudson River in New York sent this defining picture. It's of US Airways flight 1549 just after it touched down in the waters of the Hudson River, saving many lives. But for some time, news hasn't been restricted to our planet Earth, so in 2010, NASA astronaut Timothy Creamer became the first person to tweet live from the International Space Station, something we take for granted now, isn't it? The power of Twitter hasn't gone unnoticed. Many of the world's most powerful and Prominent leaders have taken to the platform. British Prime Minister David Cameron's on there, as is Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei. And uh, in December 2012, the Pope joined, sending this tweet. Other high-profile users include Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the British royal family as well. They used Twitter in 2013 to announce the birth of the third in line to the British throne, Prince George. One of the most popular public figures remains the US president. He celebrated the win of his second term by tweeting this picture to his followers. At the time of the 2012 elections, they just numbered over 16 million. He now has over 70 million followers. But one of the most retweeted images with over 3 million retweets to date was the Hollywood superstar selfie, how can we forget it, taken at the Oscar ceremony in March 2005. 14, featuring many silver screen stars such as Brad Pitt, Kevin Spacey, and taken by this year's host, Ellen DeGeneres. Well, with me now is Zoe Carnes, who is a Twitter expert and founder of uh, Z ZC Social Media. Thanks uh, for Hi. joining us. What was your first tweet? My first tweet was, hello world, um, say hello. <laughs> you were confident you had lots of followers instantly <laughs> yeah, then, saying hello. I think my then. first tweet is, what's all this about then? How do you use it? Yeah. Uh, and it becomes part of everyday life. What is the secret of the success of Twitter when there are so many other chat, instant chat platforms available? Um, the great thing about Twitter is it's real-time news and people can go on there and start having conversations, they can talk about what's happening right now in the world, they can make friends if they are lonely out there. It, it's just an amazing platform to really connect, engage and communicate with people across the world. Hasn't it become more of a social platform where if anyone's got something to promote, whether it's themselves or a business, that's what it's become best for? Yeah, because originally when we first started out on Twitter there was a lot of PR agencies just using it as a broadcasting tool, but now social media has changed. It's all about engaging and uh, having conversations with people. So it has changed. Is that changed. still happening? I mean, it, are people yeah, still chatting yeah. to each other and, and uh, isn't that happening less and less though? Aren't we seeing more and more celebrities and businesses taking advantage of getting the word out there? Um, yeah, they are taking advantage, but behind all of that there is a lot of conversation going on around different TV programs, events, there's a lot of community on there as well and you you'll be so surprised when you look at all the communities that are, are going on there's over 400 Twitter chats in the UK around business about people networking with each other and having conversations about different topics and subjects so, so you would say the future is still bright for Twitter then? they're still a little bit behind the other platforms like for example Facebook about two years ago brought out something called an algorithm that shows us content that we want to see and Twitter have only just introduced that algorithm but allowing us to switch that on and off so they are trying to keep up however they do need to look out for the other social media platforms that are coming about like snapchat um, Instagram is now aren't they more older. popular with young people that yeah, those snapchat is, Twitter yeah. I, I only found this out today Twitter's not as popular with young people as it is with with adults you're looking at the average age on Twitter is 35 and above because the the children go from one platform to the next they love the new stuff that comes out and they're, they're all looking at snapchat at the moment which most brands are getting on there as well and of course you shouldn't be on Twitter if you're under 13 in some countries anyway <laughs> should no, you no. and th there is a junior version of Twitter as well um, which is quite popular pop pop jam I mean people want instant chat they want to be able to reach not just the 
lives of celebrities. Uh, they want, as you say, to, to discuss and debate with each other. But that in itself has led to problems on Twitter. It, it's yeah. introduced a new word to our vocabulary known as trolling, yeah, uh, where yeah. people get bullied yeah. online. And Twitter still been accused, and, and it's not alone, there's other social media outlets as well, yeah. of not doing enough to protect people, particularly yeah. children online. It's not enough there to protect people. There's a lot of trolls out there. There's a lot of um, cyber bullying going on as well. And it, I feel that they do need to jump onto that. Facebook have been quite good in jumping onto that straight away, monitoring the, the messenger. But, you know, there's a lot of people out there still trolling, hold, hiding behind keyboards, thinking they've got that barrier there to protect them. And we do need, there's so many fake profiles out there attacking people. I'll follow you if you follow me. Yeah, I'll follow you back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, many thanks. Oh, you That's can't okay. say, Twitter expert. Now, in many countries, corruption is an unwelcome part 